Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Octopath Traveler. Last time we started Olbrix Chapter 1, we've done the flashback part of it, and we're up to the whole party going somewhere part of it. Uh, I bought Olbrix some better equipment off camera, by which I mean I bought him some better equipment on camera, and then the camera malfunctioned. So, he's got a great sword, a war spear, a round shield now. So, he should be a bit more powerful in combat, which is good because he's underleveled. Um, we're also going to learn him a skill because he has... Oh no, you do need 30. Okay, I thought it was 10. Interesting. Okay, um, we won't learn him a skill, but we will uh, take him Bug, out. Sir. Bug, sir. The brigands are holed up in yonder cave. It's surely most dangerous, sir. Best prepare well before setting out. Uh, we're going to take uh, old brick this way, though. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to wander around here a bit, partly to get treasure chests and stuff, because there are some around, but also to help level up Olberic, because he is level 2, and he is extremely weak at this stage, and you can't take him out of the party during his own story. Uh, so, we're just going to need to get him a bit more skill, so he's strong enough to cope with the challenges we're going to face. Okay, we've got some baddies here. Surprise my foe. Okay, um, they're both... Weak to bows. Uh, none of them are weak to this stuff, which is annoying. I think Cyrus, actually, I think maybe switching from Cyrus to Tressa might be better in this scenario. I might go back and do that, actually. Uh, I can do that because Cyrus and Tressa aren't the party member that I need to have, so that is fine. Uh, Let my arrow fly in true. Yeah. Because, yeah, it looks like bows are something we're seeing a lot of, and Tressa has a pole arm like Oldbrook does, which would help a lot. And it looks like we're in a level slash, let's just take him out. Hopefully, it did. Okay. It's kind of interesting that you can buy a better sword for Oldbrook immediately. When his super special sword was like part of part of his storyline, but you know whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out Cyrus for Tressa because it looks like we need more weapons rather than magic in this particular area. Um, if I could switch for someone that had had a bow that not a bow that has um dark magic or a dagger like Primrose, that would help a lot. We don't have Primrose yet. Uh, the way you switch, by the way, I haven't shown this on camera yet. Uh, you come to the inn over here with a little, or the tavern, I guess. The tavern here. Go to the tavern, you talk to the barkeep, and you can go change party. And we can switch Tressa with Cyrus. There we go. Uh, Tressa's also a little underleveled at this point, so uh, hopefully we'll get her leveled up a bit as well on the way. We'll see how we do. Is everyone fully... Yeah, we should be fine. We only used a couple magics. I'll just throw down a save here. There we go. Okay, so now we have a party with more weapons and less magic, which suits the situation. Okay, so we won't be automatically told what we have to attack things with, but that's okay because we're going to just try things and see what happens. Yep, they wake to bows. Thought they might be. Uh, let's try a level slash. Yep, they're all weak to swords. Generally, the monsters near someone's like chapter one are weak to their weapons. So if you can get more people that have the same weapons, it helps a lot. Uh, smash that, and then I guess I'll use like a luminescence on everyone. Just hit him real hard. Yep, that did the trick. I feel he's pretty strong at this point. And yeah, you can see old Brook's going to be leveling up pretty fast. He already has enough JP to get a new skill, so let's jump in and grab one of those. I like skills. Skills, learn skills. Old Brook, um... Hmm. Spearhead is good. Act earlier in your next turn. Become more readily targeted. Okay, so in sight, basically, you become a tank. You aggro them towards you. I don't think we need that yet. That'll come in handy once Ulbrich's a lot, like, stronger than he is at the moment, because he's pretty weak right now. Um... I 
think Stout Wall is probably the first choice we should go for. Boost his defense, because he is pretty weak, as I mentioned. Uh, we don't get a support until we do the next one, so we're going to need some more points for that, but we'll get there. Light Soul Stone. Seriously? Dang it, Hunnit. Let's see, level slash is not a good choice here. Um, unless that bird is vulnerable to it, but let's let's give it a try. Bird is not vulnerable to it. Hmm. Kind of had a feeling it wouldn't be. Uh, okay, you have a bow. Let's use that bow of yours to fire on that okay, falcon. Um, Yeah, Luminous isn't going to do much. Well, we got rid of the big strong guy, so that's cool. Um, Rain of Arrows should be better this time if it hits. Because the only things we can hit are weak to arrows. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Uh, Alberic has a pole arm, so we can do this, like so, and then we can use, uh, Craig Tempest, yep, there we go. Okay, not dead yet, but we're getting close. Let's get a few more whacks. There we go. <laughs> Victory! Alfred and Tressa level, that's pretty cool. Wonder if we can afford any skills yet. Let's have a quick look. No, Tressa needs 500 to learn another skill. My goodness. Do, 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 do. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. It would really help if we had what Primrose this? already. That purple stuff is dark magic, and Primrose has a hit everyone with dark magic move. But of course we don't have it yet, so we can't use it. Uh, let's leave with this. Victory shall be mine. Hmm. Probably should have grabbed the hit everyone with the pole arm thing, which I didn't actually grab. Would have been good. Um... Break, 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 break. And then you are going to use some Luminescence. Very nice. Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. We're probably going to want to go back and heal at some point, but we're doing alright. Uh, okay, I see some brigands. Do you have to fight them outside, or...? Nope, we can... Oop, random encounter. Uh, let's see, they're all weak to bows, so using Rain of Arrows is a good idea. Rain of Arrows seems to miss a lot, which is very annoying, because normal attacks do not miss nearly that much. Okay, let's try a level slash. Oh, very good. And then we're going to use some Luminescence. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I hope it Untouched bonus. Old brick is level 6. Yes. <laughs> What's in here? An old coin. Can we just sell that? Or I don't know what it's for. Okay, here's the brigand's den. Or a cutscene outside it. Oh. Look who's come. Have you lost something, Hedge Knight? Mm. Move aside before I cut you in two. Oh. You have courage, I'll give you that. Just who are ye, anyway? 
Never seen no head knot swing a blade the way ye do. Indeed. Then you'll step aside if you know what's good for you. You're on our land now, Hedge Knight. We give the orders here. <laughs> you have skill, but you're a man like any other, and you'll bleed as red. Get him! Okay, so we gotta fight. I will not fail. Luckily there's only three of them and they're vulnerable to swords, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, I wonder if they're weak to pole arms, maybe? Yeah, you can't capture them, but I can summon a beast. Uh, I know they're weak to swords, so let's try a snow marmot, or... Yeah, snow marmot. Cool. Thanks, snow marmot. The battle is truly okay, so yeah, level slash. He's gonna knock out all these brigands at once. There we go. Then we can use something like luminescence to just do a lot of damage to them. Yeah, easy peasy. I don't think that was supposed to be a hard fight. Be strong, lad. I'm coming for you. Okay, so here's the brigand's den. We made it. Tressa spotted some money. Thanks, Tressa. You don't get money very fast in this game by the looks of things. Like, Tressa can find money that's enough to pay for the inn, but apart from that, you gain money pretty slowly. Surprise to bow! Okay, Tressa, you are going to lead with a bow, and you are going to hit that. Uh, Harnet, you are going to use your bow as well, and you're going to hit that. Uh, Ulrich, you're going to use your pole arm to hit that. There we go. And then we're going to use some luminescence. Okay, we've still got one left. That's okay, we can manage. Cool. Yeah, you do. Okay, so we've got a chest over here. It's got a fire soul stone in it. Copper lantern. I'm not really sure what these things do, but eh, may as well grab them. Oh my, snakes. Um, I don't know what snakes are weak to. Uh, let's try bows. Not bows. Uh, let's try trade tempers, maybe. Uh, pole arms. Yeah, okay, they're weak to pole arms. How about you? Uh, let's try level slash. Hopefully, they're weak to swords as well. Well, I think pole arms show up before swords. I don't know. Let's have a look. Nope, no one weak to swords. Um, what about light? Nope. Hmm. -mm -mm. Okay, level slash is not the best choice, um, but I have my pole arm here, so we can use one of those. Break that, and we can have uh, Hunnet come in with... Let's try the axe? Okay, they're weak to axes. At least that one is. Okay, uh, and then we can do a level slash, damage everything, and uh, we can use... We can probably capture one of these, right? Yeah, hmm, what's worth capturing the most? Probably this one. Yeah, Ophelia is not good at physical attack. <laughs> my 
Okay, job done. Tressa and Ulbrich leveled, nice. Uh, we should be able to get a skill for Ulbrich now, I think. So let's jump in and have a look. Yes, uh, let's get... Uh, this one, Thousand Spears. Because then if we see a lot of things that are weak to pole arms, then we can use that, and that'll come in handy. Uh, let's equip that new support skill as well. Cover. The equipping character will absorb single targeted damage for allies who are near death. Okay, so yeah, Obrick is designed to be tanky. Uh, okay, I can buy things from you. I probably have enough grapes already, but we don't need more. Um, but I will heal up if we use some items to do that. Healing. Uh, no, just some items. Um, actually, we're all in pretty decent health, but I might give some plums to people. There we go, that should do the trick. Oop, random encounter. Okay, you weak to swords? I assume you weak to swords. That's how it's been so far. Uh, let's try bows. Not weak to bows. Uh, what about light magic? Nope. What about pole arms? What about swords? Okay, so the big one's not weak to any of those things. Oh no, no, I was actually trying to attack the little one. So. Hmm. Uh, what is the Victory upgraded brigand weak to? Horns? No? Uh, axes? No? Uh, bows? No? What the heck are you weak to? Um, hmm. I've tried everything that I can attack that guy with. Uh, let's attack the little one first, because Albrecht doesn't have much else he can do yet. Take that out, there we go. Okay, um, let me see. I've tried bows, I've tried axes. Uh, let's try some magic, I guess. Okay, the doorway to lightning. Alright. But not light. <sighs> not that. What about wind? You wake the wind? No. Hmm. I did already try both of these, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thou didst fight his courage. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, I was ready for the for the boss battle, but now I'm not, so let's heal up a little bit. Um, here we go, that's probably better. Um, might use this one as well. There we go. Okay, and then we can use a couple of plums to make sure we're strong for the next bit. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure why save points don't just heal you. Like, you, you could have an inn or something that you pay for, but, eh. Gotta use items. Boy. Do you tell me about this friend of yours? Knows how to fight, does he? That's right. he, he sure does. He's stronger than all of you put together. You won't stand a chance. <laughs> stronger than all of us? That's a laugh. The boy's duffed. Hey, come on. It, it's not a joke. Stop laughing. You hear that, mates? This hedge knight's the strongest blade in the realm. <laughs> Thinks he can best all of us. He's more madman than knight. This ain't a fairy tale, boy. Real knights don't piddle away their days in the company of swineherds. If he's a knight from the stories, a damsel in distress might serve as better bait. Reckon we should go back for the mum? Now there's a plan. I'll drink to that. What jerks. S stop it. You won't be laughing when Sir Berg is through with you. 
so bugged. Now there's a frightening name. Look, my arms are all trembling. All are trembling. Shut up, all of you. Boss? Reckon the boy's got more courage than a lot of you, and more wits to boot. So less yammering and more sharpening your stabbers. But boss, ain't no way the hedges aren't follow us here. Unless he's mad and all. I ain't like it's his own son or nothing. Why should he care? <laughs> Why indeed. Things could in could get interesting though if he does show. Always had a soft spot for men with more courage than sense. Yeah. Like the boy here. What do you say, lady? Care to join our little family? We're always looking for men with pluck. I'll never join you. I'm going to be a brave warrior like Sir Berg. <laughs> you hear that, men? The boy says he's too good for banditry. Think you're the only one who feels that way, boy? Let me tell you something. Hmm? What is it, boss? Sir! Sorry I'm late. Got held up along the way. Hi, look. It's the mighty Sir Berg in the flesh. He is, man. How'd he get in here anyway? Where are the lookouts? Bleeding in the dirt, last I saw. <laughs> Sir! Stay back! Did, did, did he just... He parried the boss's blow. Hang me, but I didn't seen no one do that before. Really? No, no one has tried to parry that attack before? Like, isn't parrying very basic swordsmanship? And strong. Really, no common hedge knight, are you? Just as you are no common brigand. Played. Like it, do you? It just so happens to be a present. Oh, you know. Oh no! You know? So it is his blade. As if I needed another reason to cut you down where you stand. How do you know Earhart broke? Speak, or I'll slice your throat. You have a score to see. Is that it? I can see in your eyes. They blaze like fire when you said his name. Look. I don't know what I asked between you and Earhart. But if you're looking to ask questions of me, my good sir, you'll have to earn the right! I will not my goodness, he's big. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's leave with some luminescence to see if any of these are weak to life. They are not. Ugh. Okay, I'm guessing Ophelia is mostly going to be healing in this battle. Uh, bow? No? Um... Uh, Trade Tempest? Okay, the little ones are weak to wind. wind. Alright. Uh, level Slash? Little ones are also weak to swords, big ones not. What are you weak to? Let's try Thunderbird. Is he weak to Thunder? Yes, he's weak to Thunder. Uh, what about Pole Arms? And Pole Arms, okay. Okay, um... I do have a Pole Arm here, so I can whittle him down a bit. Hmm. 
Should have boosted him up before breaking, but I didn't. Oh well, um. Mm, I was hoping they'd be vulnerable to arrows, but they're not. The little ones, I mean. Yeah, we're gonna need some healing. Goodness, healing. Alright. Little guys in attack. Guys, with your axes? They are. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't hit the back one. We're using a lot of healing, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... No, I'll trust it out of SP, that's not good. Oh my goodness. Sorry for not talking much. It's just... It's real hard. Um... Out of my way! Here I go! <laughs> 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 
And got some back. Oh my goodness. Just a very hard game. Let my arrow fly in Some animals are hard to use correctly. By using your turn is a problem because you immediately have to switch to someone else. Um, anyway, uh, that broke. Um, okay, one of the little brigands is gone, that's helpful. Okay, the other one's gone too. Okay, we just have to focus on Gaston now. But we can't hit most of his weaknesses. Um, hmm. Okay. He's gonna do like a level slash? Nope, just an attack. Okay. Hmm. Thousand Spears is pretty good in this battle. <laughs> Um, I think he might be weak to daggers, but I don't have any. Um, otherwise I would use them. Um, he might be weak to other types of magic too, but I didn't bring... Oh, he's weak to staves? Okay. Okay, that that's interesting. Um, what do we have? Polearm? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Coming. I'm doing fine. Lightning. Okay, we are gonna need more SP. Particularly for Ophelia, because yeah, she's running really low. Uh, have a plum. This should help. Okay. Let the hunt begin. Okay, so you're weak to pole arms and staves, and I can summon a beast that has one of those. There we go. Victory shall be mine. Too unpredictable. Well, then. Trust has been dazed. That's not good. I 
What time again? Um, your plum, here you go, Bork. They're gonna be out for. It's not good. Oh, she's back. Okay. Da, da. Oh, look at all those lovely level ups. Good for us. Well done, everyone. <laughs> I can't tell if he's speaking or not. I... I yield. Mm. Now I will have my answers. How do you know, Earheart? We fought alongside each other as all, served together in a band of mercenaries. He was already an old hand when I signed up, helped me out, showed me the ropes. A cell sword. And where is he now? Damned if I know, when our group disbanded we went our separate ways. After that I, dr I drifted from one town to the next, tried one trade then another, but swinging a blade's the only thing that's ever come natural to me. So here I am, times are lean, and a man's got to make a living. Anyone could use a sword arm like yours. You could protect the people, instead of stealing from them. Aye, I, I could, but honest work takes more wits than the gods saw fit to bless me with. Never meant to do anyone any harm, anyone no harm, but luck doesn't always give us a choice in the matter, does it? Choice or no, you must answer for your crimes. Aye. Aye, I know the score, but I've got my men to think about too. What are you saying, boss? Wait now, boss. Oi. Easy now, men. The hedge knight has the right of it. I've got more than enough blood on my hands. Live by the sword, and... Well, you know how it goes. A man has to own up to what he's done. Enough blood's been spilled here today. Surrender, and I will see that you and your men are not harmed. You do me a kindness, Hedge Knight, and so I'll do you one in return. I told you I didn't know where Earhart is, and I don't. But I know someone who might. Hi. Gustav's his name. Sir Gustav. Some call him the Black Knight, or some other fussed up nonsense. Or other such fussed up nonsense. Earhart taught, Earhart taught us both how to use the sword back in the mercenary band. You should find him in Victor's Hollow. And this man will tell me where Earhart is? Aye. He might. Then again, he might not. Still, if you want to find him that much, I reckon it's worth trying. I, can see it in I saw your eyes, Hedge Knight. They were dead, like a fish. What? But the moment you saw my blade, they came to life. Dead? Have I truly been? <laughs> what does a common thief know of men's souls? Look. Berg, thank the gods you're safe. The villagers are here are as well, sir. That's right. Ran up the thieves and locked them in the village jail. Mm -hmm. Berg. I could swear I've heard that. Gods be good. Eisenberg. <laughs> Should have known it, the way your eyes lit up at the mention of Earhart's name. Earhart? Earhart? Sorry. However it is. Aye, you're no hedge knight. You're Sir Olberic Eisenberg, the unbending blade. <gasps> what in blazes? 
the unbending blade? Damn it! They said he was slain when Hornberg fell. But... I had heard he lived, but scarce believed it until today. Uh... Is it true, sir? Are you a real knight? No. Long ago, lad. Long ago. Let's be on our way. We've kept your mother waiting long enough. You got it. Yes, sir. Sometime later. This village has been good to me, but it's time to move on. I shall find our heart so that I might find the reason I wield this blade. To find a man named Gustav, and, God's willing, our heart himself. Indeed. Victor's hollow, the man said. That's where I must go. I had stopped believing I would one day don these clothes again. The journey will be a long one, and I have no more reason to tarry. And that's the end of Old Brooks Chapter 1, I think. No, we have to head east first, hang on. <laughs> do, do, do. There we go. So you truly mean to leave us? You have shown me nothing but kindness. I am forever in your debt. Oh, it is we who owe you, friend. With a choice mine to make, you would stay with us forever. But it is your life to live. We will never forget all you've done for us, sir. The next time any dirty brigands come after us, we'll give them a good kick in in your name. We're no knights, sir. But you've taught us well. You can protect our home, at least. Glad to hear it. I'm sorry, sir. Philip, he wouldn't come. Didn't want you to see him crying, most like. I understand. Tell the boy I'm counting on him to grow strong. And to look after his dear mother. Thank you, sir. I will. When you've done whatever it is you must do, pray, come back and visit us. No matter how far your journey takes you, you always have a home here. Thank you. And with that, I had best... Philip! It's all right. It was a good blow, lad. And strong. I'm going to keep training while you're away. You come back. I'll be even stronger. And then. Then. Maybe I could. I, lad. I'll get stronger too. And we'll see each other again. You have my word. You. You better not forget! A night! And thus, Ulbrich the Knight set out on a new journey. He would find his former comrade, Earhart, and ask him why he did what he did. And mayhap he would discover that which he had lost. The reason why he wields his blade. What fate awaits him? Only time can answer that. And that is in fact the end of Oldbrook's chapter. Chapter one, anyway. He's got four more, no, three more, there are four total. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just gonna hit the end here. For a quick snooze, there we go. Cool, uh, so next time we will be headed for 
Sunshade over here. This is where Primrose is, and she's one of my favorites. Uh, you may have noticed, I probably already mentioned, but Primrose was who I chose for chapter one as, as, my, as my starter, basically. Uh, the first time I played this, she was my starter, rather than Ophelia. Granted, I didn't really know what I was doing, but yeah, I really like Primrose. I, I like her story a lot, and you, I think you'll enjoy it. So we're going to be seeing that very soon. Um, that's where we're headed next. So yeah, look forward to it. Uh, we'll be picking up Primrose, and then Alfin, and then Therian, and then we'll have everyone. And we get to start on these Chapter 2s. Um, we'll need to grind a lot more. You can see the numbers for Chapter 2 that are recommended are like level 27, level 22. Um, they're all much higher than we're at, so we're gonna need to level a bit more before taking on the second chapters. But we can acquire all all eight travelers uh, without too much more stress, and then I'll do some grinding off camera. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Olberic is now amongst our our merry troop, and we're making good progress. Cool. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we're headed for Sunshade. Uh, I may spend a video just heading there and leveling up a little bit, um, and then we're gonna meet Primrose. And I like Primrose a lot, so let's do a quick save here. You can see Albrook's wearing his different outfit now, because he's now a knight again, or he's not pretending not to be a knight or whatever. Cool, cool, cool. And that's all I've got to say for this one. Uh, so, bye!